This is a view of two jets of radiation shooting at nearly the speed of light. They are part of IC 4296, a giant elliptical galaxy that falls under the classification of a fenneroff riley Type 1, or short, FR1 radio galaxy. Such galaxies are identified by their unique radio emission structures. In FR1 galaxies, the luminosity of the radio emissions decreases as you move away from the center of the galaxy. This contrasts with FR2 galaxies, where the brightest emissions are found in the outer lobes. At the heart of IC 4296 lies a supermassive black hole with a mass equivalent to about a billion suns. It's the powerhouse driving the galaxy's intense radio emissions. As matter spirals into the black hole, it generates enormous amounts of energy, some of which is channeled into jets which are powerful streams of charged particles moving at nearly the speed of light. They play a crucial role in shaping the galaxy and its surroundings. These jets extend nearly a million light years from the galaxy, carving out regions in the surrounding intergalactic medium and creating the spectacular structures we see in the meerkat image. So, the bright central region corresponds to the core of the galaxy, where the supermassive black hole resides. The two jets emerge from this core and extend in opposite directions. As these jets travel outward, they interact with the intergalactic medium, becoming unstable and creating intricate patterns. One of the most striking features in the image is the presence of faint radio threads that appear below the galaxy. These threads are formed by electrons that have escaped from the jets and are now drifting through space. These delicate structures provide insights into the dynamics of the jets and the conditions in the intergalactic medium. Between the bright jets and the outer lobes, we see smooth ribbons of radio emission. These ribbons fill channels that were carved out by older jets from a previous period of activity. They represent the remnants of past interactions between the jets and the surrounding gas. The ribbons are eventually halted by intergalactic gas nearly a million light years from the galaxy, creating smoke rings visible in the radio lobes. The galaxy itself lies about 160 million light years away from Earth. Its immense distance means that the light and radio waves we're now observing started their journey toward us when dinosaurs still roamed our planet. IC 4296's radio jets are particularly notable because they become unstable as they travel outward, leading to the creation of faint radio threads and smooth ribbons of emissions. But let's take a moment to understand the core of IC 4296. A black hole is a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape from it. The boundary around a black hole beyond which nothing can return is called the event horizon. Once something crosses this point, it's inevitably pulled into the black hole. Black holes come in different sizes, ranging from stellar mass black holes, which are formed by the collapse of massive stars, to supermassive black holes, which reside at the centers of galaxies and have masses millions or even billions of times that of the Sun. The black hole at the center of IC 4296 is a supermassive one, with a mass equivalent to about a billion suns. Radio galaxies like IC 4296 are a type of active galactic nucleus, AGN, where the central black hole is actively accreting matter. As matter falls into the black hole, it heats up and emits enormous amounts of energy, some of which is released in the form of radio waves, which we can detect with radio telescopes. The intense gravitational and magnetic fields around the black hole accelerate particles to nearly the speed of light, creating powerful jets that shoot out from the poles of the black hole. These jets are responsible for the radio emissions we observe. These features aren't just visually striking, they also offer valuable insights into the dynamics of galaxy evolution and the behavior of relativistic jets. Now let's talk about the incredible instrument that made this discovery possible, the Meerkat Radio Telescope. Located in the remote Karoo region of South Africa, Meerkat is one of the world's most advanced radio telescopes. It consists of 64 dishes, each 13 and a half meters in diameter, working together to observe the universe in radio frequencies. Meerkat was designed to be extremely sensitive and capable of capturing high-resolution images of the sky. 
Its unique combination of sensitivity, angular resolution, and dynamic range allows it to detect faint signals and produce detailed images that other telescopes might miss. This makes Meerkat an invaluable tool for astronomers studying distant galaxies, black holes, and other cosmic phenomena. One of the most impressive features of Meerkat is its ability to observe large areas of the sky with great precision. This wide field capability enables astronomers to conduct surveys and explore vast regions of space, uncovering new objects and phenomena. Meerkat's high sensitivity also allows it to detect faint emissions from faraway galaxies, providing insights into the early universe and the evolution of cosmic structures. Meerkat isn't just a standalone telescope, it's also a precursor to the Square Kilometer Array, SCA, an international effort to build the world's largest radio telescope. The level of detail in this image is unprecedented. It allows scientists to study the interactions between the jets and their environment in a way that was not possible before. By analyzing these features, astronomers can gain a better understanding of how black holes influence their host galaxies and the wider universe. The discoveries made with this image are already challenging existing theories about radio galaxies. For example, the instability of the jets and the creation of threads and ribbons suggest that the interactions between the jets and the surrounding gas are more complex than previously thought. This image of IC4296 is not just a beautiful picture, but a scientific gold mine. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.